Hello, I'm Sean Lestorka. My um, project is on the effects of boardwalks on mangrove detritivores. My mentor was Dr. William Ellis, um, and this is th done through the St. Louis University Department of Math and Science lab, or department, yeah. All right, um, decomposition of leaf litter is a um, vital part of nutrient cycling. It is, nutrient cycling is the cycling of carbon, nitrates, and phosphates, and organic compounds from breaking it down and, cycl and cycling it out back into the mangrove system, but also out into estuaries and coral reefs and other coastline ecosystems. The mangroves are a very important part of that. Um, this processes are controlled by a variety of abiotic and biotic factors. Some of the abiotic factors are uh, light and temperature and salinity, and biotic factors are microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi and mac and larger organisms such as gastro various gastropods and um, crustaceans and other arthropods. Um, what I'll be looking at is the effect of boardwalks. Boardwalks are a very useful tool in terms of educating people about mangroves. They allow you to walk through them easily. But boardwalks um, have a um, creation, um, aid in the creation of canopy gaps, which are gaps in the canopy which can alter the light and temperature of the um, floor of the um, mangrove forest. The, um, yeah, so, here is a healthy mangrove system. Um, the blue arrows represent leaf litter coming into the detritus community here, and the red arrows represent the um, nutrients going back into the mangroves and also out to the other systems. And here we have a system which has a boardwalk placed into it, which is now a um, part of the canopy is now gone. Le less leaves are going in, and then less energy is coming out. And less nutrients in. Yeah. All right. All right. My aims of the study are to see the effects of canopy caps that are caused by mangroves near and far away from the boardwalk to get a total effect of how the boardwalk is affecting the mangrove system. And my overall hypothesis is that um, mangroves will affect the boardwalks by having an adverse effect on the macro detritivores. Um, because most, I've seen more, a lot of research on micro detritivores such as the bacteria and fungi. So I'm going to be looking into the um, macro ones of the gastropods and crabs. All right, that's it. My research site is in the Whedon Island Nature Preserve. Um, some of the, man the mangrove species found in there are Rhizophora mangil, the red mangrove, Ligunculoria rasmosa, the white mangrove, and Abyssinia germanens, the black mangrove. Um, the detritivores I'll be looking at are Melampus copious, which is the coffee bean snail, and Aratus pisonii, which is the mangrove tree cap. Um, decomposition will be analyzed through use of litter cages, and measurements will be, and monthly I will collect a cage at random to um, take in dry weight measurements of the, um, to the decompos decomposition of the leaves. Um, the first type of cage will be a very fine, like mosquito-like, it's mosquito net meshing to prevent the detritivores from entering the cages, um, the macro detritivores, so it's just the fungal partners. On um, the top of the cage is a larger opening to um, reduce alteration by light, or the effect of light on it. And then my next cage oh, is, has a one in, a half inch um, opening on the screen sides of the cage walls, and the um, yeah, a half inch opening the cage walls to allow micro vegetarivores to get in there. Um, um, this cage here is a control which has two of its sides missing to allow free access and then the, there's a fourth test which has no cage to it. It's just leaves tethered together as another control. And the purpose of the cage is to reduce the effect of light instead of having it bound in just a bag shaped container. Um, but this is my timeline. By the end of this month, I will have the cages assembled. By December, I will have this experiment set in the field. And January to April, I'll be taking monthly, or January through March, I'll be taking measurements. And by April, compiling the results. Here's my budget, which it falls within the $150 thing. And 
my um, broader my um, broader impact is to have an understand under uh, have a better understanding of the um, effects the um, boardwalks have on the Trias community through understanding of its increased amount its amount of use of camping gaps. Thank you.